Hello you 10 <clears throat> welcome to another video. This one is explaining how to do the questions from exercise 704. Now before we do uh, the process with these word questions usually is that we have to decide whether there's a adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing. That's the first element. Then we have to decide on what are the variables. Since this is algebra, um, now in these questions there's usually two. And then we have to decide how to work out combining the two variables into making one out of it all because that's how we solve them when we combine everything, all the information, into one variable only. Then we can solve them. Some of these we have to think outside the box a bit. Let's see how we go. Question one. A rectangle, rectangle, four times as long as it is wide. So, wide, and long and that length there is four times that one. So we can put the length equals four times the width. The perimeter of the rectangle is 250. So that's the next thing we know. Perimeter equals 250 centimeters Okay, now we need to use this in the variables. We know the perimeter is the length times 2. Plus 2 times the width. That's how you get a rectangle length perimeter. 2 times the length, that plus that. Or 2 times that and two times that. Okay, so we've got our variables. We've got 2L plus 2W and this back here 4W. So now we can combine this statement and that one to make just one variable. So what we do is instead of L for length, we're going to put 4w. So 2 times 4w. So all I've done is instead of L, I put 4w instead. Because we know length equals 4w. Plus the other two w's. w for width. And that's going to equal 250. Now we've got just one variable. We can work out what the width is. Once we've worked out what the width is, we can work out what the length is because the length is four times that. So we just expand this one. That's uh, 8w plus 2w equals 250. Then I think we can go from there. Okay. Once you've worked out what the width is, as I said, you can work out the length because the length is four times that. Question three. Okay. We've got footy, we've got adult tickets, we've got a child's ticket, and it tells us that the adult ticket is $6 more than twice. More than meaning adding, and twice is two times. Six plus two times the child's ticket. So let's do some variables. So we'll say the adult ticket, A for adult ticket, is six times plus six plus two times the child's ticket. Two well just put two C. Two times the child's ticket. The adult ticket is six times six dollars plus two times the child's ticket. Okay. We've got all that covered in one bit. Next it tells us that three adults 
plus five children. So A is the cost of adult ticket, C is the cost of child's ticket. Total cost is 249. So we've got two variables still. So now we need to combine to make them one variable by using this little statement here. So instead of A, we'll put 6 plus 2C. I'm just going to 6 plus 2C instead of A. So 3 times 6 plus 2C. plus our 5c equals 249 so that's that's the adult ticket there in terms of whatever the child's ticket is 3 of them plus 5 of them is 249 expand we get 18 plus 3 times 2 is 6c plus 5c equals 249 so all I've done in the red is put there instead of adult ticket because we know what that's the adult ticket equals that so if we plug that in here when uh, that's the same as adult ticket so I was just putting that instead of a then we simplify this we can work out what the child's ticket is and then once we worked out what the child's ticket is find the cost of child's ticket and the adult's ticket. So once we've worked out what the child's ticket is, multiply that by 5, and the rest is the three adult tickets. Okay, question 4. I'll do it over here. The sum, which is adding three consecutive numbers, consecutive meaning next to each other, so... 2, 3, and 4, for example, is 86, 186. But we don't know what they are, so I have to use a variable. So what if we put the first number as x? And we've got to add the next number is one more than that. And the next number is two more than that. equals 186 and I think you can go from there okay this is um, probably yep these this one these are the harder ones so hopefully you'll understand number six okay Sanjay is nine times age of his son we're going to do S for Sanjay and A for Anand and then the tricky bit, in five years he'll be four times the age of an end. How old are they now? Okay, so S stands for Sanjay now. A is an end now. So I can go S equals, well, instead of nine times we just put 9A. That's the age now, Sanjay. That's an end's age now and... Send J is nine times that. Okay, now we're going to do all this the next day a bit here. In five years, so we're just going to put send J plus five. That's send J's age in five years. Is four times the age of Anand now in five years. Four times the age of Anand in five years. Oh, let's see. We're going to go four times the age of an end in five years' time. That's a tricky bit. Sanjay in five years' time. We're four times the age of an end in five years. Four times A plus. Yep, four times the age of an end in five years' time. Sanjay in five years, four times the age of an end in five years. Okay, now we've got all that, be tricky, but we've got there. 
Now I'm going to plug in, make it just one variable, so I'm going to do 9a instead of s. So just put 9a instead of s, we still got to plus our 5, equals 4 times and then plus 5. Expand the brackets, we get 4a plus 20. So 9a plus 5 equals 4a plus 20. And then we just simplify it and we'll find out how old an end is. And when you multiply that by 4, sorry, 9, when you multiply that 9 by 9, you get how much Sanjay is. Okay, question 11. I'll do this here. Um, angles. And they are parallel lines with a transversal, which means they are alternate, which means they're equal. So 5 bracket x minus 12 is the same as 2x plus 45. Expand that, we get 5x minus 60 equals 2x plus 45. Take the 2x over there, put the 60 over there, you should get your answer. Okay, last one. Water container 7 eighths full, 15 litres are taken out. After the 15 litres are taken out, we're left with two thirds. So the difference between that and that is 15 litres. Okay, all right, well, we start with 7 eighths and we take out something, we're left with 2 thirds. Well, let's see what the difference is between the two, because that'll be our 15 litres. If we've got a water container, 7 eighths full, so water here, the blue water. In there and then they take out so that's at this point is 7 eighths we take out 15 liters at this point is two-thirds so this little bit here is uh, 15 liters well the diff difference between the two okay so if we take two-thirds away from 7 eighths we're this with whatever this is and that'll be the, what the 15 litres is okay so they're gonna work out what this is here um, okay common denominator I'm just gonna multiply this one by 3 and this one I'm gonna multiply by 8 get you 3 times 7 is 21 24 minus 8 times 2 is 16 and 8 times 3 is 24 and then we subtract them we've got 21 minus 16 is 5 okay that's the bit that's taken out 5 over 24 that's this little bit here but it also equals 15 liters so if that equals 15 what we have to do is find out what 1 24th is, divide that by 5, equals 3. So now we've got 3 equals 1 24th, 3 litres. Now all we have to do is multiply that by 24. We've got the how much the container holds. Thank you.